restored at last the 1948 show with a special introduction from John Cleese. Over the last 10 years, the British Film Institute's initiative called Missing Believed Wiped has been recovering great quantities of material that have been missing from the TV archive. Over the decade, they found a great deal of wonderful stuff from comedy, drama, uh, current affairs, all areas of British television. And one of their great successes has been the reconstitution of, at last, the 1948 show. This was a comedy sketch show that uh, I did pre-Python with Marty Feldman, Graham Chapman, Tim Brooke Taylor, and the lovely Amy MacDonald. Unfortunately, none of the original recordings were kept, but over the years, material has been rediscovered from different sources and has been painstakingly reassembled and rebuilt into the episodes that we all thought were lost forever. And now, some of the very latest material that's being recovered is being shown more than 35 years after these programs were transmitted for the first and last time. Once in every decade comes a motion picture milestone. More spine-chilling than the White Heather Club. More brutal than Sanctuary. More confusing than Christopher Mouse Journal meets the Tweezer People. Co-starring Dusky Tigress, Marty Feldman as winsome child mobster, baby-faced lip salve, and snake-hipped, stoat-groined Graham Chapman as rival gang boss, Diamond Albert Nose Fetish. They give a whole new meaning to the word, yuck. Quit stalling, Diamond. When did Prussia first acquire the hegemony of the North Germanic Confederation? 1866. <laughs> Correct. What is the angle of the plane of movement of the two outer and brighter of the four main satellites of Uranus with the elliptic? 82 degrees. <laughs> Correct. What is the square root of 7,974? 89.3. <laughs> Correct. All right, Diamond, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to kill you. Why? You know too much. <laughs> At last, the 1948 show! Hello, I'm the... Get into the cake! Do what, darling? Get into the cake! and it's not my day, really, but I'd better introduce the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the show. Uh, those are fine. Uh, how much are they? It's 39 and 11, sir. Oh, good. Well, uh, I'll take one. Just one? Yes. Oh, my God. Does it have to be just one? Well, I only need one. Right. Just the one shirt it is, then. Just the one. Oh, my God. <laughs> is, is, is anything the matter? <laughs> Couldn't you buy more than one shirt? Two shirts, please, otherwise I'm finished. Finished? Yes, finished. I don't sell enough shirts unless I do better. I'm going to be fired. My wife's just left me, and without her, I've got nothing to live for. And now I'm going to lose my job unless I sell more shirts. <laughs> please buy more shirts. <laughs> my, my, my dear fellow, I... Really? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was inexcusable. I, I don't know what came over me. I, I'm all right now. Just the one shirt it is then, sir? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I do need more than one, really. No, yes. that's very kind, but you just asked for one shirt. Oh, no, no, but that's, that's silly, just popping in here to buy one silly little shirt. No, 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 I, I need half a dozen, really. Thank you, but you're just trying to be kind. 
Good heavens, no, no, no. I really need half a dozen. I couldn't ask you to not after I broke down just now. Oh, broke down? <laughs> Call that breaking down? Good heavens. You should see the way we carry on at the bank. <laughs> I mean, some people, the average person, wouldn't have noticed you just now. It's just that I've trained myself to be a little extra observant. Uh, nobody's ever been this kind to me before. <laughs> Is someone serving you, sir? Um, yes, and splendidly too. <laughs> Young Philip, fair-haired boy this tall? Uh, yes. He didn't break down again, did he? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, good heavens, no. <laughs> he, he seemed a teeny little bit upset. His wife left him? Yes. You know? Yes. I see. It's not often that people understand. Oh. It's not easy in this shop, you know. The owner's a pretty hard man. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's something unusual about you. <laughs> oh, I, I only came in to buy a shirt. Yes, but you understand. Are those the shirts for this gentleman, Philip? Yes, sir. I think I know what I can do to express my gratitude. Rogers? Yes, sir. Rogers, get the silk shirts. Which one, sir? The silk shirts. Not the silk shirts, sir. Yes. But, sir... You heard what I said, Rogers. But they're the Duke of Walton, sir. I know that. Get them. But he's coming to get them this afternoon, sir. Get them! But what will we tell his grace, sir? We'll just have to say they're not ready yet. You bloody fool! You'll get us all the sack! Get them! <laughs> yes! Get them, Rogers! I've had enough of this place! Good man, Philip. I'm not taking any more of it. Neither am I. I just want to help this gentleman, and then I'm going to walk out of this hell hole with my head held high. Yes, sir! Yes, yes, yes! Put them here, Rogers. You can't do this, Fenton. Can't I? Then who's going to stop me? I am. You are? Yes, Fenton, you're mad. You Give... can't let him have these. Give those shirts to me. No. Right. I'm coming to get them. <laughs> no, please, please, please. This is a good man, Rogers, and I'm going to help him if it's the one decent thing I've ever done. It's not too late to start a new life. These are your shirts, sir. Oh, please. Oh, they're very nice. But... Don't thank me. Today, you taught me something. Uh, how... How much are they? How much? <laughs> Ten, no, five pounds each. What does it matter five now? Five pounds? Pounds. You can't let him have those shots for five pounds! They're thirty guinea shots! Shut up! You'll have us all put in prison! I don't care! Uh, <laughs> there you are. Take them. And you know something? I'm glad. Glad, do you hear me? Glad! Yes, but, but, but please. 30 pounds. Accept them. Yes, please. Money. Oh. Goodbye. And thanks. Yes, thanks. Thank you for the shirts. Thank you for everything. <laughs> We sold the shirts! We sold the shirts! We sold the shirts! Some people have complained that this show is not satirical. So the lovely Amy MacDonald is going to be hard-hitting and outspoken and prick the sacred cows of British pomposity. Here goes. <clears throat> Mr. Heath's got a glass leg. <laughs> Next week, Mr. Wilson's legs. <laughs> now it's time for Britain's new number one quiz show. Have a double your golden jackpot. And here's your genial master of ceremonies, Nosmo Claphanger.
Hello, well, we're all set for another half hour of fun and embarrassment. And tonight we're in the town hall of the famous old city of Gooley, before our usual audience. It's a pity we can't get the cameras on them so that all of you at home could have a good laugh. Who's an ugly audience? We are! Right, well, let's have the first greedy old couple who think they can outsmart me. And the first greedy old couple are Mr. and Mrs. Stavaker of Paddington Newtown, Gloucestershire. Well, I can't say how delighted I am to have you on the show, because I'm not. Uh, Stavaker, isn't it? That's a stupid name, isn't it? Now, come on, get on these marks. Stop it, stop it. Get on these marks. That's right, that's right there. Good, where well, I don't have to look at you. Now, how long have you been married? Forty years. Forty years. Forty years to that old bag? My God, you're ugly, woman. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Still, I suppose he got what he deserved. <laughs> come on, audience, have a laugh and make them feel rejected. Come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, now you. How old are you? 73, Nosmo. 73? Yeah. 73? Well, isn't that fantastic? Call me, sir! Sir! 73. Good, good. 73. Well, isn't that fantastic? No, it isn't. There's not a person here who looks a day under 95. And now, tell me, sir, do you have any, uh, do you have a word of advice for the young people of today? Well, I think the young Who people... cares what you think, you boring, turnip-faced old fool? <laughs> who cares what you think, huh? I'm only asking these questions to fill in the time. Now, uh, tell me, have you ever had an embarrassing moment? Uh, not till now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be clever! Don't get clever with me! We have ways of dealing with you afterwards! <laughs> now you're not nervous, are you? Yes. You are? Oh, yes. good. We'll soon have you panic stricken. Never feel the mind go blank. Hmm? Yes. Now, what subject do you want to answer questions uh, on? Dressmaking. Dressmaking. Right, stop the clock. Dressmaking. Right. If 13 men take 10 days to dig a ditch 37 by 45 and a half feet wide, how, many, how long would it take for 37 men to dig a ditch half the size? Come on, come on! Do you understand the question? Uh, could you repeat, repeat it? Repeat it. Good God, they're deaf as well. Come on, come on, come on. All right. What I asked was, who was the substitute right back in the Serbo Croatian Football Eleven in the 1913 Olympics? Come on, come on. Even I know that. Come on. Oh, my goodness, mate. Say Jovanovic. Oh, Jovanovic. 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 Wrong. <laughs> Never mind, oh, I'm in four tonight. Never mind, all right, I'll give it to you, I'll give it to you. Right, which number prize do you want? We'd like to have prize number. Come on, come on, make yeah. up your mind, make up your mind, or I'll set a crossbow on you. Come on, come on, which number? Number six. Number six, right, right, all right, you want number six. You've chosen number six, have you? you sure you want number six? Well, I'm not sure, I mean... Well, why'd you say so, then? Get the bolt ready, Heinz. All right, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. All right, I'll give you five pounds for number six. We'll five lovely we'll pounds. More yeah. money than you've seen in your miserable yeah, life. Yeah. We want it, we oh, want Look at him drool, look at him slammer, oh, the, the avarice of it all. All right, you turn down five pounds. No, I'll, no, no, no. I'll double your money, yes, I'll give you ten yes, pounds. Yes, all right, pounds. all right, fifty pounds. Yes, yes. Right, a thousand pounds. Yes, all right, right. Pounds. all right, twenty thousand yes. pounds. Twenty thousand beautiful, crisp, green, crinkly smackers. Well, what shall I do, audience? Give up. Give up. What do you know? Right, you're getting number six. Yeah, but they, they said... Who cares they're... what they said? Number six it is. Right, now, you remember the... Uh, you've turned down £20,000. Oh, no, we didn't. You remember the prizes. Right, there's the deluxe trip round the world for two. The twin screw luxury motor yacht and this week's booby prize, a half-eaten ham sandwich. <laughs> Laugh, audience. <laughs> right, now, which one do you want? Go on, come on, come We'd on. We'd like to have the half-eaten ham sandwich. See, we haven't eaten since the man brought us here. Lots of stuff. Yes, but well, we don't want to hear this <laughs> maudlin <laughs> nonsense. Right, right, well, bad news, I'm afraid number six isn't the ham sandwich. <laughs> it is, in fact, the luxury yacht. <laughs> but I'm not going to give it to you, you wouldn't appreciate it. I'm going to keep it because I haven't got one. Right, and now uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, never mind, you haven't won the luxury yacht, but you can have a go in Lucky Dip 66, oh, all right? Okay, Lucky yes, Dip 66. Right, I'll give you 60,000. Yes, we'll take it, we'll all right? 30,000. Yes, yes, yes. All right, my last offer, Please. one and four. Yes, all right, please. you've turned it down. Open 66. <laughs> open Lucky Dip 66, right? Open Lucky Dip 66, good. <laughs>
British. So I'm, I'm so sorry about the door. <laughs> and the cups. Uh, uh, not at all. S sit down. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Waring. Waring. Oh, no. I'm sorry about the chair. Uh, that's all right. Uh, now, you've come to see me about insuring your life. That's right. Yes. right good. Yes. Well, that's easy enough. All I've got to know is whether you're a good life risk or whether you're what is known as... <laughs> accident prone. I'm, yes. I'm sorry about the other chair. Oh, not at all. Nothing about it. You, you see, there's a lot of money at stake here. Yes. So right. we do have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. To make sure, we have to know how long our client is likely to live. Oh, dear. <laughs> dear, I... <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I appear to have stabbed myself with a paper knife. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's all right. It's just been caught in the jacket. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. How lucky. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. What I'm wearing, I'll teach you to play around with my wife. Oh. 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 Are, you, uh, are you all right, Mr. Waring? Yes, fine, thank you, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I used to do that, and then he lays off for a couple of days. Does he often do that? Oh, yes, frequently. Uh, sometimes I think I must be terribly lucky. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Gom. Um... Could you remind me, please, quickly, is this office on the ground floor? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Fine, you can go home now, Miss Gump. Thank you, sir. Go. Raining again. Oh. <laughs> well, Mr. Waring, I think we can waive the formalities, the medicals, family history, and so on. Oh, good. Yes, yes very much. Yeah, <laughs> There's just a question. The oh, don't worry. The no, there's just a question of how much you'll have to pay each year. Oh yes. 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 And I was thinking of a premium of fifteen hundred pounds. Oh, you, oh, that's fine. Is yes. it? So uh, if you just sign here. Certainly. Ah! Very good. Thank yeah. you very Thank much. Thank you very much. That, that, that covers me against almost anything. Doesn't oh yes, absolutely everything, except of course acts of God. And also, uh, death by flood, fire, earthquakes, uh, nuclear war. <laughs> and uh, Red Indians. <laughs> Again, on behalf of the Make the Lovely Amy MacDonald a Rich Lady Fund. I'm afraid it's bad news. We've had a very poor response so far. Come on, Great Britain, you can do better than that. Do you realise that if each of you sends me just one pound, that'll be enough to keep me in luxury for hours? So don't be a meanie. Give generously to this deserving cause. Next week, I shall be reading out a list of all those who have not yet given. Thank you and good luck. Here, give us five bob. No, um, no, um, no, sorry. Come on, give me five bob. Go away. Five bob, five bob. Certainly not. Go away. Come on, give me five bob. Go away. You're a grotty little man. You ought to go away. Ugh. Yeah. All right, if you don't give me five bob, I shall take my clothes off. <laughs> You'll what? I shall take my clothes off. Come on, five bob. I can't say fairer than that. Certainly not. Go away. All right, that's the coat then. Here, the coat, the coat's off then. Ha, ha. That's the coat. I am not giving you five shillings. It's a bargain, mate. Me standard fee seven and six. Please, people are beginning to... There's the tie in. There's the tie. The tie's off. rather embarrassing. Right, uh, exactly. Next we have the shirt. Uh, off comes well, the shirt. People are staring. Um, this man is not with me. I don't know who he is, but he's nothing to do with me. Yes, I am to do with him. No, he's not to do with me. Yes, I am to no, do with him. No, he isn't at all. I'm his brother. Not say that! I'm his brother and I'm taking all my clothes off! Stop it, stop it! <laughs> I shall be totally new! Right, all right, yes, I bob there, but clear Oh, up. no, oh, no. It's got that now. 37 in 11. 
Look, everybody, his brother's taking his trousers off. But I haven't got 37 and 11. All right, all right, you haven't got 37 and 11. It's trouser time. Oh, will you take a check? A check? I've never seen you before in my life. Please! <laughs> Have you any identification? No, this is absurd. Right, look at the way he treats his brother, the man who once saved him from the jaws of a crocodile. Oh, no. Uh, oh, he's yes. giving me money to take me trousers off. No, I'm not. No, no yes, he is. No, he isn't. Where? Ah, that's all I've got. Oh, I still wouldn't even cover me overheads. No, here go the pants. No, then. here the pants don't go. It's then. the pants then. No, it isn't. Let's have a roll on the drum. No, for the pants. Look, if you don't go away, I shall take my clothes off. Oh, come the pants then. Here come the pants. Now, Pat, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's I'm doing? giving you a taste of your own medicine. No, don't I'm don't a it. mild man, matey, but no. when I'm roused, there's hell to pay. No, 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 no. Oh, so you can't take it, eh? No, it's not. Oh, that. so you're yellow, no, are you? Ah, oh, look, everybody, his brother is about to take his trousers off. He's not my off. brother. He's not my brother. He's not my brother. the way you want to play it, is it? Yes, that's the way I want to play it. Right, you've asked for this. Go for your pants, big mouth. <laughs> you make the first move, punk. No, I'm calling you. Don't push me, greenhorn. Just don't push me. I'm pushing you, skunk. Right. It's the pants! 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 All right, all right. What's going on here, then? Ah, well, it's rather <laughs> difficult to explain suddenly. Is it? Uh, yes. Uh, this man, who has nothing to do with my brother, wants five bob. All right, all right. Come on, I'm taking you in. No, we've done no harm. No. Oh, haven't you? Don't give me that. I've been watching you, mate. Oh. Now, are you coming quietly? Um, no. 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 All right, I'm asking you one more time. Are you coming quietly? No. no. Right. It's the pen! No, it's not! It's it's not. It's no. We'll come quietly! We'll come quietly! We'll come quietly. We'll come quietly. We'll come quietly. What a noisy show. Now for a moment of tranquility. When, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever on television, I'm going to perform Hamlet's immortal soliloquy whilst executing a tap dance. One, two, three, four. To be or not to be, that is the question. With it is never in the mind to suffer the scene. Dan arrows on a bridge's fortune. Oh, Bodio, don't. Angus. Oh, you know, I like you. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Who are you for, England or Scotland? What? Who are you supporting? I, I don't think I quite follow. Excuse me. Who are you? My name is Feldman. Oh, are you for England then? Yes, yes. Look, uh, you do realise this is ballet, do you? What do you think we're here for, you tatty bogle? The ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the Scottish National Ballet! Scottish <laughs> National Ballet! Scottish <laughs> National Ballet! <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you're doing? <laughs> You know your face smashed in? Don't you wave your program at me, Mrs. I'll stuff it down your throat, you old bag! Oh, we got a lot of geese here. Will you please be quiet? You say that once more than you did. Look at them, a lot of dance bloody rings round your lap. You wait till you see Willie plays us on Twisha. Fan bloody tasting, tasting. Fan bloody tasting, we won't tasting. Quiet, 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 everybody! The music stand is quiet, 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 The music quiet. Shut up, shut your mouth. Is this your lot? Yes, yes. 
Yes, yes. You terrible Nereev! Go that leap and it's not even the bloody hawk! Go by the end, Nereev! Here they come! Come on, Scotland! Go! Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of heated. Come on, the English ballet. We are the champions. Come on, we are the champions. with us for Till Death Us Do Part, the very first episode from Missing Believed White, next on BBC Four.